Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna check out a little story Leafy has. I think he's getting stories first more than anything. Dawson's updates with him. Now listen, we told you that this uh, Sanders Kennedy guy kept saying that there was a criminal investigation. Well now it's that there is no criminal investigation into Shane Dawson. This video, similar to my last video, is very difficult to make, although for different reasons. If you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Blair. I have several prevailing themes and purposes for this channel. The first is trans issues and discussing them because I am trans. And this I think I'd hit it. So you can imagine if you know my history, which is a history of having a friendship with Shane Dawson and doing videos with Shane Dawson, that a lot of very conflicting emotions arose once... A lot of very disturbing clips started coming out online about Shane, by Shane, just old content, old joke. Dude, Shane Dawson's getting keemstarred right now so hard, holy shit. What does this even mean? Is Onision going to be the good guy in like one year? Hi, if you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I have done a lot of things in my past that I hate. That I wish I could make go away, that I try to make go away by, uh, deleting videos or untagging my Instagram things or literally doing whatever I can to pretend like those things didn't happen. Because yes, I apologize for a lot of them, but I'm 31, almost 32. Those apologies suck. I don't know who that person is anymore. Every apology video I've ever made has been a, from fear. It's, it's Dude, Shane Dawson looks like shit. Me sitting at home thinking the whole world hates me and crying and hyperventilating and then just turning on a webcam and just saying I'm sorry and then hoping people know I'm a good person and then it'll go away. And that is stupid. That is something that a child does. Bro, yeah, that's pretty much what every apology is. It's full of shit. That's the truth. If they really didn't want to do some shit, they wouldn't have done it. Like, you're going to tell me that any person that apologized after some shit went down would have still apologized if nothing happened? Yeah, okay. Not something that a 31-year-old uh, man does. That's not, that's not good. Right now is very much a time of wanting people to be accountable, wanting uh, punishment for people. To all the 10-year-old girls wanting punishment? Yeah, please come and get me. Seriously, come and get me. Bro, do me a favor, because I need to actually get some work done. And I agree. And that's why I'm making this video. I saw Jenna Marvel's video, and it really inspired me. And felt like a universe. A sign from the universe? Dude, is this guy away? signs from the universe trying to get you to make a goddamn apology video, bro. You gotta relax. I don't know if, like, 10-year-olds are eating that shit up, but yeah, the sign from the universe was he was getting some hate. And by hate, I mean people were clicking the dislike button and leaving mean comments. That's pretty much it. I wanna do this. So this, this video is coming from a place of just wanting to own up to my shit. Wanting to own up to everything I've done on the internet that has hurt people, that has added to a problem, that has not been handled well. Like, I should have been punished for things. Well, I mean, his words, not mine, right? I think that's something that I, as I'm getting older now, I'm realizing. It's like, you can apologize, but you can't expect the other person to just forgive you. Uh, I do. I mean, honestly, if I didn't think anyone was even going to accept the apology, then I wouldn't have even apologized in the first place. I mean, seriously, what the fuck is the point at that point in time? I mean, at that point, not only are you being annoying, but you're wasting everyone's time. And that's not my opinion, bro. That's his opinion, too. That's everyone's opinion. Like, what other reason would he even have for even making this video if he didn't think there was going to be some people that would eat this shit up? Like, that's... that's... doesn't make any sense. As a adult, not a child, I was at least 20 when I started YouTube, and I made the decision to play stereotypes of black people, or Asian people, or Mexicans, or uh, pretty much every race. I made that decision. I said, oh, this is funny, and I put it on the internet. I mean, was it funny though? Does anyone have the clips? I mean, even if it did, this video kind of like kills it, but back then, did the jokes land? And I'm not just talking to the wall right now. I mean, I am for 90% of the video, but right now I'm just talking about like the live chat thing on YouTube. I have no idea. Uh, if there's a bunch of no's in chat, then the jokes did not land, and the old Shane Dawson was not that funny. However, one in the chat if he's fat. Now, years later, I look back at that, and... And I've talked about this before, but I, when I say I hate that person, I mean it in the most intense way possible. I don't know if I buy that, man, because I think the most intense way possible would be like you smashing your camera <laughs> while, while you're actually like a
<laughs> Can you imagine, man? I mean, you don't even have to imagine. Bashavers did that a while back. I hate that person so much. That person was told my friend lying when I say I really love the makeup one. I'm back. You're mad. Big sad. And of course, this mod has been echoed through that community. Not so much on YouTube. Shane Dawson here is definitely. DM. And that, of course, was Dear Shane Dawson. I know you're getting some hate right now, and I've been there, and I know what it feels like. And I assure you, dude, it will pass. But, bro, why are you so fucking gay? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we just showed you that little bit there about <laughs> Leafy sl slid into Shane Dawson's DMs. And of course, he won't respond, man. Freak. Like, all of this is just to make him self look good. He doesn't. <laughs> so weird. Like. <laughs> Like, the f all the friggin' things there, he, he was buried those videos. I didn't even know about it until I saw these things where people did some digging. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Just raining outside right now. As you can see. And to give you a glimpse of it, yes. I can rain like fucking day. Not as bad as it was in Halifax when I was there. Luckily, they had the underground malls and stuff. Yeah, Shane Dawson probably just shouldn't have made any video at all. And God, he's... Like, plus he's with friends of friggin' Jeffree Star, the friggin'... If you know some of that past... <laughs> Does the moral things to get famous? He's actually deleted the friggin' things with Jeffree Star now because he, he was called out for that pretty bad. And then plus one, the thing uncovered about friggin' Will Smith's daughter, huh? That friggin' got him a lot of hate. He's lost at least a million subscribers on YouTube. Because those were all videos he did when he was unpopular, so not a lot of people saw it. But then, once some things came out of Shane, about Shane, they started doing digging, and I guess they found it out and stuff. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, the Halifax trip was really fun, man. I really enjoyed it a lot. I'm hoping to maybe move there someday. He's like, get a little job and stuff, and be able to buy some friggin' equipment and all that. And help my channel a bit. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Make sure you do that. It helps out a lot. And my whole opinion about Shane Dawson is, I have no idea whether to believe he is or not. A friggin' P word. But who knows, right? Time will tell, right? We definitely wouldn't doubt. <laughs> Just rain all day. Want to do some walk outside or something? Mm. Yeah, it's not much to do. We got some friggin' DVDs and stuff. So watch YouTube videos. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> God, man, you won't even respond to Leafy, man. 
name is under me. It's crazy 2020. Freaking time and all this stuff that's been happening this year is insane. Like a lot of things. God, hopefully freaking COVID in Canada freaking gets exterminated in Canada, but I guarantee in the States it won't. In Quebec only knows if Quebec can stop being so dumb and freaking acting like Florida when it comes to the COVID cases, then maybe freaking maybe they'll COVID will leave freaking Quebec too, but for some reason Quebec wants to act like Florida for some reason. It's freaking Canada. You're not your own country. Stop acting like uh, you want, oh, uh, we gotta make Quebec America, except for French America. And it's the only difference between Quebec and Florida. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It means a lot. Hopefully it's a nice day out for, for tomorrow for a vlog. Till next time, peace out.